Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from SlideCal. My name is Yayo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. In this week's video, we are going to create a stunning bar chart using nothing more than a picture. No joke, just a picture. And you know what? It only takes three easy steps. So let's get to it. Step one, find the PNG image you can use. Okay, so for this step, all you have to do is find a PNG image of whatever you'd like. It could be a tree, it could be a cat, it could be a building, whatever it is, go for it and, you know, just play around with it however you'd like. The important thing is it has to be a PNG image. Now, you might be asking, what is a PNG image? Well, this is a perfect example of a PNG image. It's an image of a cheeseburger. It's making me really hungry, but that's besides the point. A PNG image does not have a background. So if I was to go to shapes, you know, I'm bringing a shape over here and send it to back. As you can see, uh, there's no white bike, but there's no white background behind this little burger over here. Everything behind it is completely transparent. And that is what you need. So once you have a PNG image, just, you know, size it and position it wherever you'd like. So I'm just going to put mine over here. So once you have your PNG picture, I'm just going to call it picture from now on. So once you have your picture on the slide and you positioned it, all you have to do is just click on the picture itself, go to format, click on crop and crop into the picture. Now, don't crop over any details of this picture. Just get the crops borders, these little black lines over here as close as you can to the picture, just like this, right? It's really important because the next step is crucial, right? So once you're happy with that, we can now move on to the next step. Step two, turn your image into a bar chart. All right, so the first thing you need to do is literally duplicate this slide. Do not move anything. I cannot stress this enough. Both slides have to be identical in terms of content and positioning, right? You cannot change anything now. If you need to change something, delete the slide, move it wherever you'd like, and then duplicate it. But for right now, I like my picture where it is right here, so I'm just gonna duplicate this slide. Go to your first slide, click on the picture, click on format, go to color, and then click on this option over here, which is grayscale, all right? Click that. So now you have a black and white PNG image, which is fine. Now go to your second slide, click on the picture, go to format, go to color again, and this time choose a color using the more variations options. So for example, you can have it red, you can have it yellow, you can have it green, you can have whatever you'd like, it's up to you. Just be sure that you pick a color that you want to use for your slide. For this one, I'm going to be using this pink right over here. Now comes the fun part. With this picture still selected, the colored one, might I add, go to crop and crop into your picture to reflect a bar chart statistic. So for example, in my slide, I'm saying that approximately 30% of people in the world today are obese or overweight. So I'm going to crop 30% of this picture starting from the left all the way to the right, but I'm actually going to crop it in from the right. I know it sounds weird, just let me explain. So I'm going to eyeball it. Now it's important for you to understand something here. We're not looking for a precise 30% metri metric. No one in your audience or whatever it is, is going to pick out the ruler and start measuring it, right? You wanna have something that's indicative rather than precise. So I'm going to crop into the 30% mark. I think this looks like a good 30% mark here. Perfect. Once that's done, just copy it and paste it. Done. That's it. That's literally how easy it is. And I'm sure some of you have their jaws on the floor right now because you didn't think you can create something like this. You don't need Photoshop. You don't need any of that. All you have to do is be creative and all you have to do is take an innovative approach. Step three, add your text. All right. So it doesn't get any easier than this. I'm just going to group both these guys up and move it to the left here. I can reposition it and I can resize it, might I add, since it's all grouped up, but I'm just gonna do that for now. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is go click on insert, click on text box and just type in approximately, I hope I spelled that right. Yes, I did. 
I'm gonna change the font to something a little bit more bold and increase the size. So this one's gonna be Unisans heavy caps. All right, perfect. I'm gonna make this a dark gray color, I think. Yep, that looks fine. I'm gonna press Control and Shift, bring this down over here, type in 30%, increase the size. I don't know, maybe 100 is a pretty good size to go with. Bring that up here. And then I'm also going to take this text box from the beginning, the same one that says approximately, bring that down over here, just like this, and type in off people in the world are obese or overweight. All right, awesome. Now I might have to position this slide just a bit. All right, great. So um, I'm gonna be a little bit more creative here. I'm gonna go to insert, I'm gonna click on shapes and I'm gonna click on this rectangle. Just draw the rectangle like this, send it to back. I'm gonna remove the outline and I'm gonna make the rectangle pink to reflect the bar chart, if you will. And I'm gonna change the text to white, just like that. And uh, I'm also going to highlight the words obese and overweight. And the reason why is because I want the colors to talk to the image, which indicates, you know, a bar chart. So overall, that's literally all you have to do. Now it's just a matter of positioning, fine tuning. So I'm gonna group these guys up here. I'm gonna highlight both. I'm gonna go align, align middle. That's it. That's what, less than six minutes, seven minutes? Easy, easy as pie guys, easy as pie. You do not need to be a master designer to, you know, make slides that look absolutely stunning. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, then please do share it, do like it, do comment, and do subscribe. And also visit slidecow.com. We need you guys there. We really do. Get your five free slides, guys. Get your five free slides. This is Yo-Yo signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.